Hey world, it's Linda at So What's New and Yarn Too. Yes, yes, I know. It's the weekend and once again, we have fabric. <laughs> Tons of fabric. Yes, it's reaching the point where I understand we have too much fabric. But then again, never enough fabric. So we're going to start off, and I don't know why I thought this was Tula Pink, but I I don't know if it is. It's not marked Tula Pink. In fact, it doesn't even say who the, uh, who the author is. Hmm. Let me I look down here. Uh, Madagascar Adventure. All right, let's show you Madagascar Adventure. And in Madagascar, there are monkeys or lemurs, excuse me. You can see it by the ringtails. And you can see they're small. So that way you can easily use them in a baby quilt. And this may look pinkish. It's it's salmony, so it's not a uh, overly feminine kind of look. And so you could use it in a gender neutral quilt. Over here, I have some dots that go with the lemurs that are in blue. They're a little bigger, you can see. But still, if you're doing a square, they uh, will show up plenty. And that kind of goes together nicely, doesn't it? The blue and the green. Now, then, of course, other things always get my eye. And over here, I thought this was lovely. And there are the birds. See the birds? And there are purples. And babies, are, the young girls love purple, don't they? But this is kind of a nice, it's directional, but it's directional going the length of the fabric. So you can go long runs with this. Those are nice. Those. I wonder if they're a special type of bird. I didn't ask. Anyway, and then I noticed, you can see that orange. I have a, uh, I pulled off the shelf, just poof. And it kind of helps support that. It's a nice uh, fabric that goes with it. Isn't that lovely? Then, we didn't stop there. Of course, there's got to be something else. And I don't know what these are. But this is Madagascar's Dreams. And it's kind of a stripe effect. But again, it's running the lengthwise of the fabric. And as I put it up on the, uh, the board here... Look what I noticed goes with it. I had this on the shelf. See, your stash is always worth it. That goes, and then I noticed that in between here, I have a fabric that goes with both of them to support this. But I, I think these are fun. These are fun. This is really nice colors. And that's not all. Definitely not all. I think the uh, guy who was bringing in the fabric was limping by the time he left, or he had to bring a very uh, big uh, cart. So this next group, I think these are all from Free Spirit. This next group is Shell Rommel. Oh, we'll start with the focus fabric. Just look at that. It's got such a nice run, doesn't it? Yes. As Linda Rose likes to say, I am sucked into painterly fabrics. But Shell Rommel has uh, made this ginkgo that goes very nicely with it. You see? And just to make life easy, these are a little bigger. They're not to so big, but you could get a nice feel from a big square of 10 inch or something like that. Then with it, of course, is some uh, basics like this blue. And with the blue, it wasn't just one shade. I got another shade of blue. So there are two shades of blue that go nicely with this, uh, this ginkgo. 
and all of it works with shells, ramels. Interesting name. How do you yell? Shell, get down here right away when you're, you know, when you're yelling at your children. Okay. So as you see, the colors will go beautifully with this group. Now, we didn't stop there. We bought some orange to pick up on Shell's group. This is the orange that she felt. It's orangier than this picture. Yes, there's a lot of brown in that orange. I happen to have, from Allison Glass, a brighter orange. If you really want to perk this thing up, see that? Perky orange. And then another part of Shell's group are these, what are they? Hmm. They are things, I know. They, they're, they're like birds, but I'd have to turn the camera and I can't. But the idea is, no, it's called Mosaic Geo, whatever. Okay, but look at that, isn't that nice? And again, it goes with our friend here. Now she didn't stop there. So we didn't either. <laughs> Here's another one. And uh, this is a, uh, it just, it uh, looks very nautical in its, um, I don't know what they are. But again, it goes with the orange beautifully. And you've got that gray blue. And that would go again with our friend here. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Everything's collapsing because there's a lot more. That's an interesting yarn, and really. Okay, now, okay, so we didn't stop there. We've got Shell Ramel, we've got her, her stuff here. And then on the other end of the spectrum, it's our old friend, Kaif Facet. All right. All right, we're talking big here. So I'm looking at this, and I this I did not, they didn't have any particular outstanding um, go with it. So I tried the orange, of course, the same orange. Boy, this is going to be a popular orange. Doesn't that really go nicely? And then I thought, well, not everybody's going, well, you, you want the orange maybe, but then you need the green. So I threw the green with it so you could have a nice big, huge square and a four patch and it'd be lovely. Now, I found it difficult, I'm throwing the fabric over there, this color here, I found that difficult. And I wondered if I could go along into the uh, pinks in some way. And the only one that really said anything was kind of this one. And it's still, I don't know. That one I'd have to really play with for quite a while, I think. Maybe with this with grays, perhaps. But that's not all. Wait, that's not, is that how it goes? Wait, but wait, there's more. And ta-da. Okay. This is, they're going to have a mess to clean up. <laughs> Shame on me. Uh this one is also a cave collective, uh, meaning that there's people who uh, design for him. And this is by Philip Jacobs. And this is pinwheels and this flower. So this isn't the only one I bought in this color, but I had to buy something to go with it. So there it is. I tried this unusual check. And it's got the purples, it's got the greens, the teal. The... So that's a nice balance, I believe. Really interesting. I want to make something. I've been wanting to make something for a long time. There's no time! You all know that message. And again, in that vein, we've got more from Case from Philip Jacobs for Case Facet Collective. And there's that grouping. See that, that, those are, you know, they're huge with lots of statement. And look at, I mean, and again, this goes wonderfully with it, plays off of it. 
And then you've got so many colors in here that you could see if it, I think the purple would be the best fun. Yeah, purple seems to say it. Where's my funny orange? My orange is too bright, I think, for this. Ah, coming, come, come, orange. I'm reaching over. Nah, too strong, huh? Way too strong. But what about the green? Green might work. These kind of... Yeah, you know, this is an olivey green on in real life. This is not, and yet they look the same on this picture. So as you see, you have to be here to get things. And did we stop there? No, never stop, because look at that nice, soft, these huge chrysanthemums, again from Philip Jacobs. And you've got blues you can accent, lovely soft greens. Again, it's um, a little more olivey than you see here on, that I see on my phone. And yeah, this is a big thing. I like the blue here. This is such a surprise in the midst of all of these, that little deep blue. I wonder if a deep blue sashing with this, deep royal, it's more royal. It's more royal, yeah. And then with it, ta-da, whoops, we've got these little, little softer, smaller, units that could accent this and with that the pinwheels again in soft springy creamy colors now this picture i gotta say is more right is more exact in the color of the green look at that green in that flower that's the color i'm seeing I don't understand you, machine, film, whatever. So, tons of fabric, tons of fabric, and no room, no room anywhere, which means we're going to have to have some sort of an inventory clearance. That is what the staff is going to say, loud and clear. I have to sit. I had a class of five young people. You have to dance when there are young people around. Anyway, my feet hurt. So what's going on? Well, we've got totes uh, being made. We've got the Simply Surging Club, which is up on the website under the sewing classes. You have to go to classes. You have to go way to the bottom. And there are three different sessions, night and two during the day. And so we can really get going with surging our projects. The, um, I can't think of anything exciting right now. The brain is, it's Friday. On Friday, one needs to take naps and stuff like that. It's the end of the week. <laughs> so I think that you need to come in and check it out. My Halloween fabric is all over the place. There's a lot of it. <laughs> Time to come. And keep an eye on the website because somewhere along the line, I've got to make room. I've got to make room. Our sewing machines are numerous. Our fabric is too numerous. I know, Linda Rose, I know. And I see that I'm getting another shipment from <laughs> Riley Blake of ginghams. Okay, ginghams for the baby quilts. So we look forward to seeing you and we look forward as to we come up with some ways to sell this wonderful fabric. Don't forget, by the way, beginning of November is the um, quilt show in Mineola and I will be there and I've got plans. I'm not going to carry a lot of bolts of fabric. I can't. I'm doing something. The kids have all grown. No, mom, I'm too busy. You know that story when they're 30. So, <laughs> once more, off and away, I wish you a good weekend. May it 
rain a little more, but not too much, and at night would be better. <laughs> and fall is coming. You can feel it in the air. Wishing you the best from So What's New and Yarn 2. Bye now. Oh, don't forget. All of this is on the website. I can't forget. They always yell at me. It's on the website. You can order it. You can ask us to hold it, cut it and hold it. And you'll pick it up whenever or we can ship. We're into shipping. So we'll be glad to do that for you. All right, then. The website. And share us. Like us. Whatever. Come visit us. Bye-bye.